Across the span of a 28 day period, one of the Gorilla Platoon members has dropped 8 kilograms and I thought that was quite interesting to, to discuss and I thought I'd make a video on it because ultimately I see a lot of uh, titles, how to drop X amount in, in 30 days, how to drop this much in 30 days, and 30 days is not really that long realistically, it, it, it's really really not, so when people are trying to sell you on the idea of drop this much really fast, it's a bit scammy, it's a bit smelly. So I'm not coming at it from that approach. I'm just saying this is what he did and this is why it dropped off. I'm not saying I'm, I'm God's gift and I'm going to make all of you drop 8 kilograms in 28 days. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying this is what we did and this is the result we got. And this is always the theory on the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Tom Sergey. We run the Gorilla Platoon here. And I just explain results that we get here. And this is what we did. This is what we got. It's not world according to me. I am not God. Some of you may think so, but I'm not. I'm only joking. But uh, I'm just explaining what we did to get the result. So ultimately, this is not a finished result, by the way. We're going to keep going until the is like peeled to the bone. And the, obviously, you can see from the left, the disclaimer is, look at this guy's condition to begin with. You already see some abs. You already see, like, I mean, you write in the comments where you think he sat from a body fat perspective. I'm going with 14, 15 um, from, from where he is currently. So it's a great condition to begin with. And, and you know, you, you, uh, you take the approach we did, that body's going to turn into a furnace and it's going to melt body fat. Another disclaimer, first couple of kilos, water weight, muscle glycogen, reduction of inflammation. That's where you can see a big drop off to begin with. It's not always body fat straight from the off. However, after that, it really, really is body fat. We can see he's tightened up already across the midsection here. So what did we do to get this drop off? Well, this is a high output, high activity guy. So we kept the output the same. Now, actually, we were running with 20 minutes of formal cardio per day. Heart rate 120 to 130. Looking at incline treadmill walk or a bike to begin with. With the, with the thesis to progress it to a uh, cross trainer and then a Stairmaster. But for now, that's what we've just been running with. And we've not needed to push the needle up just yet, but cardio could be going up. On top of that, we're then going with 10,000 steps a day. So it's a fair amount of output just to be doing daily straight away from the off. Where your money's made to drop that much that quickly, it's physically from the input that you do. With this, we went fairly aggressive. With his, he was eating 2,400 calories. His maintenance is easy 3K. So you're in a 600 calorie deficit. I would say fairly aggressive. For anyone that's watched my channel knows I start quite low, as in shallow into the deficit, and I, uh, I just push the output first. But in this analogy, we wanted to try and go as hard, fast and aggressive as we could and wrap this up before Christmas comes in. So we needed to take a different approach. Who's this approach not really for? This approach is not for people that actually need to stack on, and apologies for the blur, uh, so they need to build some muscle as they go through the transformation when they recomp. This one here as well. Uh, you could also say, here's another good example, this one up here as well. For people that need to build, this is not the approach for you because your food needs to be so high that you can drive that performance in the gym and you can see that tissue develop. It's for people that honestly are already at a space of good about a muscle and you just want to peel them to the bone and showcase all the work that they've got. This approach could be taken in the space of a cleanup phase or in the space of a mini cut uh, just to get in, out, get the body fat off, get straight back into whatever you were doing next in the form of the bulk, in the form of your sporting discipline. That's when you're going to take the style of approach. So it's going to be quite aggressive. Now, the, the next disclaimer is it's going to be quite miserable. You are going to be hungry. Your mind is going to be telling you to cheat. And you will, you'll see a good test of character for yourself, which, to be honest, that's no bad thing. Who here would like to develop their character in a very free and cheap way by eating less? Yeah, sounds all right, doesn't it? Easy way to develop that you are a man of discipline, consistency, and most of all, resilience to get this level of uh, uh, body fat off in such a quick space. So who else is this for? Some of you that have left it late before a holiday coming up, this is ultimately the approach you're going to have to take. One thing I'll say is, though, this is not sustainable. Don't take this and think this is a sustainable approach. It's not. If it's a short period of time, you can bet your bottom dollar you're going to be working like a dog to get that result out. So the, the underlying principles of what we did was 600 calorie deficit, 20 minutes of formal cardio, 10,000 steps per day. And the, the, the big thing I pushed for it was sleep. If we're putting you in a state of starvation and in a state of increased output, that's we're pulling you at both ends. We're giving you a Chinese burn. If we're giving you a Chinese burn, you need to sleep like a baby. Because otherwise your hormones, leptin and ghrelin, are going to be through the roof because you're on poor sleep. You probably won't drop as well anyway because cortisol's high, stress is high, hold more water anyway. So you're going to struggle to drop it off anyway. So honestly, your secret weapon to this, as unsexual as this will sound, is to sleep more. 
Forget all the foam rolling, forget red light therapy, forget any other garbage recovery you've heard. No, it's garbage. It's just, in my opinion, a waste of time. Sleep an extra hour and it, it will serve you so, so dearly. Don't miss on your protein target as the side note I'll say. For you, it's going to be, if you're starting in this position, take, take the rule of thumb. One gram per pound of body weight will work. If you want to be a little bit more specific, I go 2.4 grams per kilogram of lean mass. But ultimately, if you can't work out your lean mass, then you're going to go with the initial uh, figure. Protein is going to keep you satiated, recover from the gym, uh, and ultimately it, it has a higher thermic effect of food when you eat it anyway. So this is what we did to drop off that body fat uh, nice and quick. And we're going to aim to keep pushing out for the next three weeks and really crisp him and peel him to the bone. Top level client, really, really works absolutely solidly. Um, so, you know, it, it's not easy to do. You have to have a solid mindset on your shoulders. You have to be uh, proud to get up and showcase discipline each and every day. But you can achieve good results. So this is more to show you it's possible than to sell you on the idea of quick. I'm not here to sell you on the idea of quick. I'm just saying this is what we did to get the results. So hopefully you took some value from it. If you did, subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.